Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. In today's video, we've got apples. If you wanna see what I've got cooking up for you, then stay with me. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some apple desserts. So I've recently shared a pumpkin dessert video. If you haven't seen that, I'll link that down below. This week, I'm bringing to you some apple recipes. Cinnamon apple tarts, apple pie egg rolls, and apple PB2 nachos. These are low point, low calorie, definitely ones that you can put on your Thanksgiving table. So let's head over and get baking. The first apple recipe we're going to be doing today is mini cinnamon apple tarts. This is a recipe that I got from emilybites.com. I've made a few of her recipes lately and I've really enjoyed them. So this recipe is crispy wonton wrappers coated in cinnamon and sugar and filled with warm gooey homemade apple pie filling. So for this recipe, I am making one modification and that is the sugar. So she uses six tablespoons plus one teaspoon of sugar divided. So basically you use some sugar in with the apples and then the other is mixed with cinnamon and gets put over the wonton wrappers. So for the sugar that's going on the wonton wrappers, I'm using regular sugar. So the sugar and cinnamon mixture, I'm gonna use regular sugar. And then for the sugar that gets mixed in with the butter and apples, I'm gonna use Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. So that is gonna lower the points a little bit. For her recipe, if you just make it the original way with the regular sugar, it's two points on all programs, and I'm trying to see what her calories are, and 45 calories. And then with the Lakanto, it's one point for one, two points for two, and then it becomes four points if you have three and then 39 calories. So all we need for this is some wonton wrappers, which honestly, I had a hard time finding wonton wrappers, and I ended up doing, I think I did an Instacart delivery through Publix, and they ended up finding them for me. But I'm pretty sure you can buy them on Amazon as well. So we're gonna need 24 of those. We need, again, if you're using regular sugar, you need six tablespoons plus one teaspoon. So for me, in here, I have three tablespoons plus one teaspoon of regular sugar. And then over here, <laughs> I'm keeping it to the side because as you can see, regular sugar and Lakanto look very similar. It looks like the Lakanto is just a little bit more fine, but I don't wanna mix them up. So I'm gonna separate those. So the Lakanto sweetener, I have three tablespoons of that. We're also gonna need one tablespoon of light butter. I just used the Lando Lakes light butter. We need one tablespoon of cornstarch and one quarter cup of apple. Finally, we need three medium apples and we need those peeled and diced. If only life were that simple, right? Okay, so now I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. So now you just wanna lightly mist 24 cups. I have this mini muffin tin that I'm using and just lightly mist them. <laughs> I say lightly, but it doesn't look like I did very lightly. So now I'm gonna combine my cinnamon. And again, this is divided. So now we just need three tablespoons plus one teaspoon of sugar. And then to that, we're gonna add two teaspoons of cinnamon. And actually, this is a half a teaspoon measuring spoon, so I'll put four of them in there. And then mix that together. Okay, so set that aside, but we're gonna need the cinnamon still. Now take a piece of parchment paper or wax paper and just lay that down, or just as long as you have a clean surface, that's fine. Now we're gonna take 24 wonton wrappers and just lay those out and I don't think I'm gonna have room here for all 24 of them, so I may have to do these in batches. So now what we wanna do is lightly mist the wrappers with cooking spray and sprinkle each of them with a quarter teaspoon of the cinnamon sugar mixture.
All right, I had to move these. I didn't have enough room on that side of my counter. So I sprayed these with olive oil spray and then I put about a quarter teaspoon of the sugar cinnamon mixture on one side. Now I'm gonna spray them again on the other side and put about a quarter teaspoon of the cinnamon mixture on each one on this side. Honestly, I'm just going through. I went through and kind of poured half of it on one side and I'm just going through and pouring the other half on the other rather than measuring out a quarter teaspoon. So then I'm gonna get my tin and we're just gonna push these right into each muffin tin. So that's basically how you want them. They don't have to be perfect. We're just gonna put the apple mixture inside. So now those are going in 350 degree oven for eight minutes. Now I have a saucepan that I have on medium high heat and I'm putting a tablespoon of butter, which mine is now melted because I had it sitting near too close to my stove. So we're just gonna get that in there and melt the butter which is pretty much already melted. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my apples because I don't want them sitting here any longer than they already are. And then just stir them to coat them with the butter. And we're just gonna let those cook for about five minutes. We're gonna just leave it uncovered. Now while the apples are cooking, I'm gonna take this small dish. We're gonna combine the remaining three tablespoons of sugar which in this case, I'm using the Lakanto. And then we're gonna put in the tablespoon of cornstarch and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then mix that up. Now, after the apples have been cooking for about five minutes, now just sprinkle that mixture right over top and add the quarter cup of water. And mix that up. Now we're gonna cover the saucepan and once the mixture is bubbling reduce the heat to low and simmer it for three to five minutes. All right those are done. That is what they look like. I'm gonna let these cool for a little bit and then all that we're gonna do is just put that apple mixture right into each one. All right, so that is done. You just wanna cook it until the apples are tender and the sauce is nice and thick. So now all we're gonna do is take that apple mixture and just scoop some into each one. And just try and be as even as you can with the amount that's in it. I'm just using a tablespoon just so I can kinda of gauge how much I'm putting in each one. So if I were to guess, I would say I probably put about a half a tablespoon, maybe a little more in each one. So now these are gonna go back in the oven for about three to five minutes. All right, I had these in for three minutes. I didn't want to cook the wonton wrappers anymore. So I took them out after three minutes. So those are gonna be delicious, I can tell already. So many things you could top this with, Cool Whip, whatever you want. So I'm anxious to try these. I'm gonna let them cool down for a little bit first. Okay, so you know I'm gonna put a little bit of fat-free Ready Whip on there. Actually, you know what, I should try one without it just to see. So, you can see the sugar and cinnamon. Oh, those are good. Those are really good. I don't even think you need the Cool Whip. Oh my gosh, that is such a good treat. And you know what? They really satisfy you. So it's such a small amount in there, but it's so satisfying. And the best thing about these, these look so nice to just have on your table. You would look at these and never know that these are not bad for points and calories. All right, so that one is a success. Okay, the next one. This one is air fryer apple pie egg rolls. 
And if you don't have an air fryer, I'm sure there are oven directions on her website. So this one is a recipe from thepounddropper.com. For this one, I'm not doing any modifications. I'm doing exactly the way that she has it. She uses the Lacanto monk fruit sweetener like I do, so perfect. For the points and calories on this, it's two points per egg roll, regardless if you use sweetener or regular white sugar on top. And for the calories is 95 calories each. So for this recipe, we need two cups of apples or three medium apples. We also need two teaspoons of fresh lemon juice. We need one cup of water, three quarter cups of the Lacanto monk fruit sweetener, which she says you can use either the white or the brown sugar substitute. I think preferably I would use the brown sugar one, which the brown sugar substitute is called golden. This one is called classic. This is the white sugar replacement. The one that's like brown sugar is called golden, but I don't have any of the golden right now. I'm all out. And then we also need in here, I have a mixture of two tablespoons of cornstarch, a half a tablespoon of ground cinnamon, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, and an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. I just have that in there. I've just put it, everything in there. I haven't mixed it together yet. Then for the topping is a tablespoon of regular sugar and a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And she says if you use the regular sugar or the Lacanto, it's the same. It ends up being the same point. So I am using regular for that. And finally, we need 12 egg roll wrappers. And again, same situation as the wonton wrappers. I could not find these either. So I had Publix pull that for me on my Instacart delivery. So now what I'm gonna do is get my apples peeled, cored, and diced. And I'm gonna mix them in this bowl with some lemon juice. So now I'm gonna take my lemon. And we need two teaspoons. So what I'm gonna do is just put it in this measuring cup first, and then I can just measure out two teaspoons. If you don't have fresh lemons, you can definitely use the lemon juice that you buy in the store. So give that a mix. So now I have a saucepan. She says to use a medium saucepan or five quart Dutch oven. So I've got that on my stove. Now we're just gonna add all the ingredients. So I'm gonna add the apples, the one cup of water, the three quarters cups of sugar substitute, and the cornstarch, cinnamon, salt, and nutmeg. So now I'm just stirring it to combine it. I've got my burner on medium heat. So we're gonna bring this to a boil over medium heat. And then once it gets to a boil, we're gonna let it boil for a full two minutes so that it thickens the sauce. Okay, so that, as you can see, is thickened. And it smells delicious. So you just wanna make sure it's thickened and the apples are soft. So now I've turned my burner off. Okay, so over here I have 12 egg roll wrappers that I just have laying here. So now what we wanna do is take, that's really hot, take about two tablespoons of the apple mixture and put it right in the middle of the egg roll. Then take the sides and fold them in and then fold, roll it right around it. So you want to get it pretty tight. When you get to the end, just take a little bit of water and put some water there just to kind of seal it. So we're going to roll up 12 of these. All right, I wanna show you, the first ones I did, I did 
two scant tablespoons because I didn't want to overdo it, but I still have a lot left. And as you can see, as I'm getting to the end, I'm putting quite a bit more. So definitely two heaping tablespoons will work. So the first one that I showed you didn't really have much in it at all. And I don't want to open it now because I've already sealed it. So just keep that in mind. The first ones didn't have a whole lot in them. So these last ones are, are going to be quite a bit bigger. Okay, so comparison. <laughs> the first one I did and then the ending one I did. So those first few definitely are going to be smaller, which is fine. All right, now I have my air fryer heating up. I have it on 400. So I'm actually using my old air fryer. This is my old Secura. And the reason I'm using this one instead of my Instant Pot with air fryer lid is because the Instant Pot with air fryer lid has a round basket and this one has the square basket. So because of the shape of the egg rolls, I think I'm going to fit more in. We're put st I'm still going to have to do it in batches, but I think they'll fit better in this air fryer. So I've got it on 400 and I'm just going to let it preheat for just a couple minutes. Okay, so I've sprayed the bottom with some cooking spray. And now I'm just going to take the egg rolls and line them up right in the bottom very carefully. And I think I'm going to do, I'm going to turn them over. The side that they were laying on is wetter. So I'm going to flip them over in there and do that side first. And I don't want to overfill my basket, so. So I've got seven in there. I just want to have some room in between. All right, that'll be good. Now I'm going to take my cooking spray and just spray the tops of those. And then those are going in the 400 degree air fryer for five to six minutes. Okay, so while that first batch is cooking, I've got those set aside. Now I'm going to take the mixture of the sugar. This is the regular sugar and cinnamon, and I'm just going to put it in a dish. So just put it in a dish that you'll be able to fit one of the egg rolls. So once they come out of there, we're just going to roll each hot egg roll into the cinnamon sugar. Okay, so look at that. It's been about five minutes. So some of them are more brown than the others but i'm going to go ahead and flip them over and give it another spray with cooking spray oh my misto's not spraying right and that's going back in for another five to six minutes all right you know what i'm going to do i'm actually going to be putting all of them in this dish so i'm just going to put this sugar and cinnamon mixture in there and then i can just roll them right in there all right, that is what they look like. That one got a little crispy. So now we're just gonna take them, put them right in that cinnamon and roll them around a little bit. So I'm gonna try and keep the cinnamon on this side. That way I can pile the ones that are already done on that side. All right, so I sprayed that again, and now I'm going to get the rest of these in here. Spray the tops with cooking spray, and then those are going in for five to six minutes. All right, we don't need to wait for the other ones to get done for me to try these. All right, they're, <laughs> they're still pretty hot, but they are delicious. So one thing that she says on there is you can get some Smucker's sugar-free caramel syrup and drizzle that over it. Honestly, you wouldn't even need it. These are so good this way. They're really good, y'all. So I will have this recipe linked down in the description box as well as the others. And this one, no modifications. Okay, this last recipe I have for you 
This is a Hungry Girl recipe. This is apple and PB nachos. This is so simple. It's actually just kind of a little treat. It's not something that I would recommend really making ahead of time because we're not gonna be cooking the apples. We're just gonna be slicing them fresh and then putting some things on them. So you can't really make this one ahead of time. The points and calories on this for half of the recipe is 142 calories and two points on all programs. So for this one, so easy and so few ingredients. We need one large or two small apples, one eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, three tablespoons of powdered peanut butter. I'm using this PB2. I've already measured out three tablespoons of that. We're also gonna need three tablespoons of water that we're gonna mix it with. So I've got that back there. We need one teaspoon of mini semi-sweet chocolate chips and a quarter of an ounce or about a tablespoon of chopped peanuts. So I just took some peanuts and chopped those up already. All right, now for this one, I've got to work for my apples. <laughs> for this one, we're not going to be peeling the apples, so I've just washed them real well. So all we're going to do is just core them. And then we're just going to cut them into half moon slices about a quarter of an inch thick. So about like that. So now we're just taking the apple pieces and laying it on a plate. So once you have the apples in there, now you can throw them in there however you want or make them look pretty. Then we're just gonna take an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon and just sprinkle it over the top. So now we're gonna take the three tablespoons of water and the three tablespoons of PB2 and just mix that up. So if you normally watch my channel, you know that normally I don't mix my PB2 with water. So if you're new here, what I usually do is I slice up some apples and I mix it in with dry PB2 powder and just eat it that way. I just eat it with the dry powder. So it's very rare that I actually make the peanut butter out of the PB2. But for this recipe, that's what we're doing. Now you could also use the PB2 with cocoa, but make sure to put that in your tracker because I think that that may increase the points. All right, you just wanna mix it until it's smooth and uniform. So as you can see, it's all nice and smooth. So if you, depending how thick or thin you like it, you can put more or less water. I usually like it a little bit thicker than this, but for this recipe, I think it's gonna be fine. So now what we're gonna do is just drizzle this over the top of the apple slices. And we're gonna just top it with the one teaspoon of the mini chocolate chips, which I'm gonna put it in my hand and do it so that I can make sure I, it's such a small amount of chips that I wanna make sure I spread it evenly. I think you could use Lily's baking chips if you wanted and get more, but those I don't find are as good to eat like this. Like they're good for baking, but they're not as good when you just eat them plain. And the crushed peanuts. So obviously, if you are allergic to nuts, then you'll wanna leave these out. Look at that. So something so easy <laughs> so simple so easy but that is so presentable and like i said you can have half of this for two points or 142 calories that is a good little treat but i'm one who likes pb2 so if you don't like pb2 this one may not be a favorite of yours so just something super easy to throw together so those are the apple recipes I have for you this week. I do have a slow cooker apple pie recipe that I came across that I'm hoping to do soon. So make sure to let me know in the comments which one you're anxious to try. And as always, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe. I'll talk to you in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy. Don't you know that you're beautiful?